Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. I'm coming by today. I've just got a quick little demo with these um, tiny little trinket molds from um, BB Craft. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this one with UV resin. I had a friend of mine ask me if I could do a color that I had done before with glitter in it, but without glitter this time. So, I've just got this, um, as the Lamino resin. It's just, um, off of Amazon. It does take quite a bit. I think that's about it. Now, the reason that I'm using this particular resin, um, one of the reasons that I'm using this particular resin is because I've got bulbs out <laughs> on my 36 watt resin lamp. So what I'm using is the LED resin lamp. And I do know the Lamino um, cures really well under the LED light. Not all resins do. Alright, so these are the Nick Pro colors. I got them in a set. Um, I actually believe there may be uh, both colors in the set. Like these in, in neon kind of colors and regular colors. <laughs> okay, so I did put... Um, Always shake, always shake your dice. Um, I did put three drops. No. A squirt of the yellow. Then I literally put, this is the pale green. I literally put one drop of the pale green. Okay. <laughs> right away, it's just so pretty. It has that look of the uh, Vaseline or uranium glass. Carnival wear glass. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to let it fill slowly. Because obviously I don't want to overfill it. It will get down to looking like it's not going to fill it all up. And since it actually didn't, put 
so I need just a little bit more. Now this time we may do the three. <laughs> Oop. Okay, wound up being a little squirt. I get a little intimidated when uh, stirring a full cup of resin with colorant. <laughs> I don't know why with the silicone mat under it. No fear of spilling or anything, but... Okay. That's a stick. I'm going to put this under my nail lot, and it takes longer than 90 seconds, okay? I'll do... Four and a half. Okay, I'll do maybe five minutes, and then flip it over, and do the same five minutes then check it and see how solid it is maybe do it again it may be hard enough but we'll see now on this last one I want I want I'm doing a two-part resin because I want to do black and if you do black uh, the light won't penetrate through the UV resin if you do it a black black um, and I want to try <laughs> I bought these probably a year ago I bought them off wish they are iridescent resin dyes let me let me <laughs> Let me elaborate a little bit. These are iridescent resin dyes, but they work best when used with a dark resin base. Kind of like if you're thinking about the uh, uh, Finnebar Opal Magic Wax. Yeah, that's it. Um, they work beautiful over a black background or a dark background uh, if you try to put them over white you just almost can't see them they add just the hint of pearl shimmer but other than that you can't see them now the one thing I was disappointed with these have no English writing and there's like 10 of them. How do you know what color one is? There's no way to know. So on a couple of them, I did a, a swatch on the bottom. But it's already come off, so. <laughs> okay. This is the... I don't know if that's even a word. Y R Y M H T <laughs> resin pigment black. Now, this one's already open, so I'm gonna do a good squirt of that because I want it black. Oh, that's a smelly one. 
that's one of the reasons why I don't really care for the pinata inks. I can, can't tolerate the smell. Okay, that is not dark enough, so. Another good squirt. Yeah, there we go. That is a little more like it. Alright. Now, I don't know if this is one I opened or not. Let me check. Yep. Alright, now, these have to be shook really well. Uh huh, uh huh. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, just a squirt more. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that is. I am speechless. It's so pretty. Let's see how well I did. I'm guessing the amount. Goodness. I actually over guessed and that don't happen, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to let this set overnight. Um, I'll watch it for a few minutes to see how many bubbles come up. And I'll use my barbecue lacquer to pop the bubbles. Let's see. Already got some. Just a quick, okay, see they're already forming again around the edge. We'll give that a few more minutes, a few more seconds. <laughs> now, don't worry, I will not waste that resin. Again, I'm going to set this um, in my drying area after I hit it again with the barbecue lighter because I can see again the bubbles are just forming probably from this uh... mm-hmm mm-hmm Because the sparkle will, uh, mm -hmm. it will introduce air when you stir it, just like uh, glitter or anything else. Try 
try not to touch your mold with the lighter because you will fuse the silicone to your resin okay okay this is um this is just 91 percent um alcohol from the dollar store i've pulled the mold away from the edges i am just going to squirt One squirt. All right, and then I'll mas massage it around a little. <laughs> Try not to squirt myself. It might just be a drop, but okay. That easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, I mean, it is gorgeous. Oh. Okay, I think I love it. Mmm. Um, this one was, uh-huh, the champagne, uh, 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 metallic alcohol, yeah, this one, the Sigwong metallic alcoholic champagne goes. This actually may not have been the color, but it was champagne. Okay, yeah, that was it. It actually... Nope, it is actually the same color. I going to say it actually looks a little less pink. But, it really doesn't. Um, not quite as streak-free as, say, using mica powder would have been. Uh, it would have been a little more swirly, less streaky. But it's still really pretty. Uh, the black and the uh, mm -hmm, iridescent whatever color looked rainbow to me. I'll be back in the morning, um, after I stare at this for a few more hours. <gasps> so cute. I love that little faceted pattern. So pretty. Okay, and here it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so... Sparkly. Maybe maybe turquoise. Maybe that's the interference color. Uh, it may be rainbow, it may be silver. I I don't know. But it's really pretty. Alright, so Once again, the BB Craft um, little trinket dishes. They're so cute. This one is my favorite, I'm sorry. Now, these two were the um, alcohol pearls and I have to say 
not actually my favorite. Um, mica powder itself does a much better job at a swirling kind of this this has much more of a streaky appearance and it's not necessarily the shiniest this one is that is super shiny matter of fact all of these are other than these two um, alcohol pearl ones. This one was the uh, Ranger alcohol pearls. I'm not sure of the color. And this one was the um, Sigwong. The, this one was the champagne and I'm a little happier with with the way it turned out as opposed to this one it's just not shiny I mean a little um uh, mm-hmm Spray clear sealer will fix that right up, but I could go on and on <laughs> because y'all know I love sparkly, and I'm gonna have to try these with the uh, mm -hmm. with the with the mica powder. I'm just gonna have to try these with the mica powder and see. Uh, what the difference will be. Alright. <clears throat> so thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave the links. Uh, down below to. Everything. Although I. I may have to hoard these. Um, yeah like I said. I'll leave the links down below. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Goodbye for now.